Kia ora i te whānau, ko te aroa te waka, ko rua wahi a te maunga, ko te ao o te ato a te awa, ko rangatihi tōku marae, ko rangiauhea tōku whiritipina, ko Ngāti Mahi tōku tangata, ko Ngāti Rangatihi tōku iwi, ko TJ Pirinara tōku ingoa. Kia ora i te whānau, my name is TJ Pirinara, from Ngāti Rangatihi, which is my iwi back in New Zealand. I'm very excited uh, to be a part of the Under Armour team here in Japan and being a part of the, the Dokomo Red Hurricanes uh, where I'm currently playing my rugby. Uh, yeah, I definitely do think um, your mind and mental state plays a big part uh, in, in performance. Um, I think for me, uh, especially playing at um, different levels and different games, um, the ability to um, come into each game with a consistent mindset and a consistent focus uh, is probably probably the key. Um, you see, and I've experienced it myself, in games where uh, my emotional levels are either too high or too low, um, that can uh, have an impact on how I perform in games. So trying to get into games and stay at a consistent level um, each and every time I think is most important. Um, because I feel like my routine um, and the work that I put into it over the last sort of half a decade has been uh, where, where I want it to be and if I come out of a game and I play poorly or I don't get the results I want, um, I don't often put it down to, to, to my mental state. It's, it, I'm, I'm, I don't regret that I didn't do um, things to prepare myself mentally. Um, sometimes it's just what happens in the game we play. Um, yeah, I guess my mental routine um, starts very early in the week. I don't believe I, I don't believe you can just turn up on a Saturday or a Sunday when we play and expect your mental um, strength to be there. Um, it's it's things that I like to practice um, in my training week, whether it's going out on the field and trying to put myself in a position um, where I found myself either I performed badly in the past or. I found something that's frustrated me in the past and trying to uh, replicate those feelings out in the training field so that when I'm doing it again um, in a game day, I'm more prepared for that, uh, for that situation. So um, I know a lot of times when people feel uncomfortable um, with things that happen in games, we try to avoid that thing. Um, but over the last few years, I've tried to be in that situation more often so that the way I react and react, the way that I respond to those situations um, is how I would, how I would like them. For, for me, um, I, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to be able to play rugby um, each week. It's a game that I, I grew up loving and it's a great a game that I dedicate a lot of my time to. So come game day, um, for me it's the best day of the week. It's, it's something, like I've already said, that I, I'm extremely grateful for. Um, so when I, when I have those moments of downtime in the game and I'm smiling, um, I'm just genuinely happy to, to be able to be out on the field, to be able to compete against some of the best players in the world. Um, and to be able to test my skills against them. There are times that I get frustrated when things don't go our way, um, but I'm trying to quickly divert myself back to that, um, that gratitude mindset. Um, yeah, I think a big part of that is um, physical conditioning. Being, being fit allows you to um, execute for longer periods of the game. Um, and we play this game um, that has people in different positions that are different sizes and stuff like that. So later on in games, the bigger boys um, tend to be a little bit more unfit um, or a little bit more tired because, because they're bigger and it, it, it's harder to, um, to keep that level of fitness when you're 120, 130 kgs compared to me who's 90 kgs. Um, so I, I tend to try and look for, for those moments where I can see some of those other boys a little bit more tired um, and then take those opportunities um, when they arise. So, I think it's not so much just a mental thing. I think physical conditioning is a big part of it. And then the way that I play the game, I'm, I'm constantly trying to look for those opportunities to, to score points, to, to make a line break, to uh, turn the game on its head. So um, from the first minute to the 80th minute, I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to find those moments. And often, like I said, later on in the game, uh, when people get a bit more tired, um, there's more of those opportunities to, 
um, to the council. Yeah, I, I think you find that courage within. Um, like the, the game is built on a lot of different athletes, um, some athletes bigger than you, some athletes smaller than you, and I think you have to um, understand your preparation and how how much work you put in, um, and then just be confident in that. Um, you're not going to win every battle out on the field, um, but I genuinely believe that each time I go out there, um, regardless of what situation I'm, uh, which is thrown in front of me, that that I can, that I can win that situation against um, any opponent. Um, I feel like I can win that situation because I back my preparation that um, that I've had. Um, and it's not that week's preparation; it's the preparation that I've had since I was a young kid. The countless hours that I've put into uh, mastering my craft, I um, I'm confident in that, and I'll back myself um, against uh, any opponent. So I think. Um, that's what people should uh, back themselves on. Uh, if you've done the work, trust the work and be confident in that work. Um, yeah, leading Haka for me is a very proud, um, proud responsibility and proud privilege um, that I've been given over the last few years. Um, I think something in common that I've had with, and that I've had with other or previous Haka leaders is um, maybe the mana that's been held uh, within the group. Um, I know looking back on, on, on other leaders, when I've been in the team, um, the mana that they've held within the, the group um, has, been, has been quite high and um, I'd like to think that um, my mana within the group um, is on a similar level to those boys. And, um, you, you only get to lead Haka if the, the group feels a certain way. Um, if, if the group doesn't feel that way about a certain individual, um, then you wouldn't be able to lead Haka. So for me, that's probably what, what I'm uh, most proud of is that um, the group of boys that I get to go to a, a battle with um, hold me in enough regard to, to be able to lead Haka for you. I think the most important thing is, is how you are as a person. Um, your characteristics um, off the field are probably uh, the most important. I understand you have to be able to play the game very well. Um, you have to um, be in the team and you have to be able to execute um, at a high level in this game. But that doesn't, that doesn't bring mana that, um, in this sense. Like it, it brings mana, I guess, on the field. But um, as a person, it's, it's how you how you are day to day, how you treat um, each person you interact with, how you treat your family, how you treat your parents, um, your wife, your children. Um, I think that's where um, the most uh, respect is um, given um, and to those characteristics on, on how you are day to day. And that's, um, to me, that's the most important. Um, how you are as a person outweighs anything that I could do uh, on the field. Um, I think for our team, we, we all work really hard together. Um, we put the work in from pre-season to, to the current day. Um, and that, that, that's the biggest reason why we, we're getting the results we are. Um, for me in the game, I'm just trying to do my best to compete every moment to, to show my teammates that I'll do whatever it takes um, for us to, to get the result. Um, and I'm not trying to get everyone up and saying people have to be um, more energetic or anything. I'm just trying to lead. Uh, through through my actions, and I think that's the, the best way to lead. Especially me, I'm I'm in a new environment. Uh, a lot of these boys have been here a lot longer than I have, so I need to earn their respect, um, not the other way around. So that's what I'm trying to do at trainings and out on the field is work as hard as I can every moment, so that uh, one we get the result, but two um, I earn the respect from from my teammates and friends in this environment. Yeah, I think a big one for, for nines especially. Um, like we're, we're often smaller people on the field um, and we ask a lot of our bigger boys to do the physical work, um, to make tackles, to carry the ball hard. So the way that I try to lead um, on the field is when it's my opportunity to, to be physical, to make a tackle, to hit a ruck, um, that I'm doing it with everything that I can so that the boys who I ask that job of 90% of the game, um, they can see that when it's my turn to do that, that that I will put my body on the line for them as well. So that's um, one way that I try to leave. Uh, 
Um, it probably does relate back to, to what I've already said. Um, I'm, if you watch my game, I make a lot of mistakes out on the field, um, but I try a lot of different things too, and I'm, I'm confident enough that uh, I know that the next time I try something, um, I'll get it right. Um, and that comes down to the preparation and the, the work that I've done before actually being out on the field, before um, the fans are there to watch us, before we're on TV, all of those hours and all of those moments that I've spent preparing. Um, I back that and I understand that I'm going to make mistakes and I think we we can all um, accept that we're going to make mistakes but if I make one mistake and I get an opportunity in that next moment I'm 100% confident that I'm going to get it right that next time and then if I make a mistake on that one and I get another opportunity I'm 100% confident that I'm going to get it right that time too so um, I don't mind about uh, making mistakes and if people want to give me grief for making mistakes they're often the same people who aren't out on the field with me, who aren't putting in the hours and hours of work to, to be able to do what we do um, on a day-to-day -day basis. So I think um, don't listen to those people who are giving you grief. Um, trust in yourself and be confident in the work that you've done. And then every time you get your opportunity, just back yourself home. So. Yeah, this, I reckon this is a, a really tough question, especially if this is from a young um, a young person, because I've <clears throat> I've been in that that same mindset as a young um, as a young athlete, I guess. Um, but the, the advice I would give is that like we see ourselves every single day, so we we are the ones who go to train, we are the ones who um, wake up early in the morning. Um, so for us, we don't get to see the growth because we're we're seeing it every single day. But if you I don't know if it's your auntie or someone that you haven't seen in a long time and then you're putting in that day-to-day -day work and you're not seeing that growth but then they come and see you a year later that the growth is actually huge um, so don't be um, disheartened by not seeing um, instant growth the fact is that each day you do get up early each day you do go on train each day you do commit um, to mastering your craft you you are growing whether it's 0.01 percent whether it's 2%, whatever that growth is, it's growth. And it's hard for us to identify that growth because um, because we're living with ourselves every single day and we, we don't get to see um, it on a scale um, like other people do. So um, be confident in it um, and keep just just keep at it. It's, it is a tough one because when you train, you want to see that instant gratification. You want to see um, yourself get faster. You want to see yourself get stronger like straight away. But over time, um, the more that you do train, the little bits that you are growing, um, that's what brings that confidence in those big moments um, out on the field is those hours and hours of training that you've done that you haven't seen that, um, that small growth. Um, but when you're on the field and you can think back to all of that work you've done, that's where you get that confidence from, that's what your foundation is built on. Yeah, yeah I do. I think for me, um, Coming to Japan and um, playing for the Tokyo Red Hurricanes has given me, um, I guess, a new, a new outlook on, on the game of rugby and a new outlook on the way I've um, uh, like arrived every day at training. Um, I was in a team for for a long time uh, where my routine was very much the same. Um, my role in the in the environment was very much the same for a long period of time, and then I could come here. And I, I've had to earn the respect of people who have been here for, for a long time. I, I'm the new guy in the environment and although I've done a lot of things um, in my rugby career um, in New Zealand, through being here in a new environment, I'm, I have to start again. So um, it's given me uh, a different sort of um, angle to the way that I um, approach each, each and every day. Um, and I'm very grateful for the opportunity that I've, I've had here. My number one advice to kids who are playing sports would be play a lot of different sports. Um, I think in this day and age, um, regardless of if it's basketball, rugby, netball, whatever the sport is, people get their kids to narrow down on, on one sport at a very young age um, because, it, because it can become a job, I suppose. And it can be a career nowadays, so um, people want them to get really, really good at this one sport. Um, but I, I genuinely believe that 
playing a whole bunch of different sports gives you so many different skills. Um, it lets you meet so many different people and become a teammate in so many different environments uh, that it only grows you uh, for the sport that you end up playing. Um, you find um, the love for the sport um, and that's a bunch of different sports. You meet different characters and how they approach um, the sport and yeah, the skill sets that you might pick up in basketball, for example, that transition into rugby later on are, are huge. The hand-eye coordination that you pick up in baseball or softball that trans uh, transition into rugby skills later on are massive as well. So play a lot of different sports as, as a young kid. Um, enjoy the being able to play just for fun because that's the, that's the mindset that you need uh, when you do become a professional athlete and that's what people forget is that um, that playing for the pure love of the game. Um, yeah, that would be my advice. Uh, yeah, I've played a lot of basketball. Curry's, in my opinion, um, probably the best shooter um, to ever play the game. He's changed the game um, by himself, effectively. Uh, not many players in basketball have done that, but you see every kid nowadays wants to um, go to the three-point line and shoot the ball instead of um, taking the ball to the hoop. So uh, basketball is a, it's a beautiful game, and I do I do love the game. And I played a bit growing up. I still play a little bit now, um, but I'm. Um, I think I think I'm better than I actually am, to be honest. Um, my favourite level is probably three. Um, I've tried five before, and it was, it was very hot. Um, but me and Tom Marshall um, have a, I guess, an agreement that we're going to try level 10 by the end of the season. So. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> It'll have to be at the end of the year with, uh, after our last game, hopefully the final. Because um, I don't know how good it'll be in the next couple of days after the evening little team. I think the most important thing for me uh, when it comes to mental strength is consistency and discipline. Um, I think a lot of people base um, their mental strength and their uh, productivity uh, on motivation and motivation is nice um, but it comes and goes it fluctuates too much uh, in my opinion um, you can wake up one, one morning and be really motivated to do something um, but the next morning for the same goal you're not motivated so you don't get up and do it um, that's why consistency and discipline even if you wake up not feeling too good but you're consistent and you're disciplined to get out of bed and achieve those small goals um, that's where uh, those small uh, results start to happen, that's where growth starts to happen on a day-to-day -day basis and the motivation tends to follow that um, as you get out of bed, as you ach achieve those small goals. So for me, consistency and discipline over motivation any day. Uh, kia ora te whanau. I just want to make a massive shout out um, to all of you out there uh, who are supporting me, who are supporting Dr. Red Hurricanes and who support Under Armour and Under Armour Japan. Uh, I know we can't meet at the moment due to COVID, uh, but I'm genuinely so thankful for um, all of the support you give, um, give me and the team. Um, and I'm looking forward to the day where we don't have these restrictions, we can catch up, we can um, see you guys at the game, we'll see you guys at the store in Shinsaibashi. Uh, really looking forward to it. Keep supporting the team, keep supporting Under Armour Japan, and yeah, I look forward to meeting you. Lash, go.